Cheers, everybody. Happy Sunday. Here I am with my way too bright. Well, you can't see my arm extend beyond this point because I cut it off because my green screen doesn't cover the wall. <laughs> so there's a spot where it ends. And like, this is my chair. I put like green cloth on it. It's fabulous. It's amazing. Um, but anyway, I put, just for funsies, I put my doll family from a while back from an old picture back there to keep us company. But in short, <laughs> Now they can see me a little, and I'm not wearing a shirt with green on it today. I might have, I might have learned a little bit. I might, I might have learned a little bit. <laughs> but this is Ningyo Bingo, where you keep on collecting dolls but never seem to win the game. One part of the game you can win, however, is finishing projects that you have started. <laughs> um, which sounds impossible, I know, but perhaps things like doing it on a for uh, an online uh, thing where you can, in fact, oh my god, the glare is so bad, where you can um, make it a social activity is a great start. So speaking of great starts, I'm going to uh, go ahead and give in our Discord so it'll show here. <laughs> Uh, no, that's not Discord that I want. I want to chat capture. That's what I need. Properties. We have the easy, low maintenance uh, version of of a, of a vodcast here. Nothing, nothing fancy here. All easy. So we're gonna start right where we finished off and you can actually see it a bit better now that the light is behaving a little with us. I do have a light that I can bring over to give just a little bit more if we need it but now we can see the light pink lines on that the lips there the white that was painted into the teeth the brown eyelashes where the watercolor once I put any sort of solvent or water on it kind of just bled out and the eyebrows which are a little I don't know they're very Becca style I'm not particularly in love with them but I am very much looking forward to this guy having any sort of face so today as I futz around with lights and everything else and make a lot of noise with my microphone right below it <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna continue on this guy Ooh for right now it's going to be named cloud. He already got, this is like a stain. This is, I think, ABS plastic. Um, you can see the very stiff and hard eye wells. If this was vinyl, that would be a lot more flexible. So I do wonder how much, I, I put a few coats of the, as I mentioned yesterday, I put a coat of the Mr. Super Clear underneath, but we shall see if anything else comes of that. Um, but yeah, I figure me actually putting a video on uh, so I can talk to somebody, anybody as I do this to make it a little less lonely. I'm an introvert, extrovert, extrovert, I don't know. I can't do things. And you need, you need a like nice light and things. Like I swear this looks so much better for me. I wish I had the optimal angle where you could see what I was doing and I can see what I was doing all at the same time because I'm gonna have a tendency to pull him over here to do my work because this is the edge of the table let me see oh, no, that might work you know as long as I don't knock all over all the dolls behind it as I'm doing so let me see yeah I think that'll work better here I mean it's kind of shaded. Can I, what happens if I bring the light in? Oh god, yeah, you guys can't see anything. Okay. That's, that's something. That's better. We look decent. We have like a little reflection. Oh, from my glass? No, from, from something. Something. Oh, it's just the glass in general here. All right, it is what it is. So here, no, that is very distracting actually. Donk. Okay, we're gonna go with this light is what it is. I am in direct light and it's just enough that the, I have a thing here so the direct light is not hitting the table, but it's enough daylight that I can see fairly well. So, 
from here is where we start to get into our chalk pastels. Um, this, this is of course an upside down view, which is why this shirt, this doggo is sitting on the ceiling, but that's so that while I'm working on this facing me, it will be facing up to you guys. So let's see what colors I have here to work with. I actually have a lot of chalk pastels because I actually picked up several packs along days in and days out. I find that like softer is better. Like these ones, fairly hard chalks. So you want chalk pastels and not any other, other sort of pastels because these do not have oil in them. Once again, oil is going to um, seep into your doll's plastic. And yes, resin's a plastic, vinyl is a plastic. They're all a plastic of some sort in one way or another. So I have sharpeners, really nice. I got nice, nice sharpeners to sharpen those colored pencils from yesterday. And I have one pack of my Volks chalk pastels here, which is, I think, where we're going to be going for a lot of these tones here. Um, so these, you can hear that. It's not so hard and glass-like a sound as much as these, which are a bit harder. So I don't like using them as much. It's just a little softer. So when it granulates, it's a little, it becomes very powdery in comparison. Hello, buddy. Oh, really? Pizza, huh? Do you want to come on the video? You do? Come here. Pizza. Is it bad that I'm over here doing something and you're not? Do you not know what's happening? Did the green screen scare you? Yeah. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Hello. You want to come up? Want to say hi? Want to be immortalized in video? My son, son. My son, son. No. No. Maybe? You just want to play? <laughs> you just want to play, but you don't want to be, you don't want to like bless anyone with your presence, huh? You sure? Come up. Come up. No? Okay, then I'm not paying attention to you. So there. Okay, so an example. So this is 220. Oh, now you're going to climb up because I'm not paying attention to you. Anyway. That's kind of like this, and it doesn't break apart quite uniformly. It's very soft, very fine green, but a little, I don't know, sandy in texture? How to describe these guys when I grind them? It's very powdery and soft, more akin to like a flower, maybe? Um, So yeah, I do like I do like those ones from Volks better. I also do have this one other set. What do these ones sound like? How do they feel? It's somewhere in between the two. So yeah, these are coming off nicely on my fingers. Nice vibrant yellow, yellow, blue, peach, white, and those are just some cheap, cheap, cheap chalk pastels. But I think I should be able to do most of what I need to do just with that. And I don't think I brought my thing over with my paintbrushes. Let me go grab that. Hi, baby. You gonna cause chaos when I walk away? Mister. Are you a chaos boy? Mm. 
Yeah. Oh. Yes. I am working on something here. Oh, now you want to bless. Now you want to bless us with your presence, huh, mister? Good thing you're not made of green. You would disappear like a ghost. What do you think? What do you think about painting, huh? <laughs> huh, mister? What about it? Oh, I'm sorry. You can't see out the window, huh? Great. Well, there's a cat paw. Here's a cat's ass. Congratulations, Internet. You've got, you've got what you wanted. You perceived, you perceived what you needed. Pizza, come here. All right, baby. All right, baby. Oh, good boy. I love you too, son. Was this what you needed? Yeah. This is what you needed. You don't know what's happening, do you? Why does mom have all this stuff over here? She usually paints in the other room. Hmm. Hmm. Mister. Yeah. All right. You gonna paint with me, mister? I'm gonna get all the cat hair on this doll head and then seal it with that sealer on. Make sure you don't have dust or hairs or other things when you seal your, your layers in. You will hate yourself later. Um, or just come to accept the wabi-sabi nature of enjoying cats and doing art. Hello. So, I have this finer brush, like little more of a tip brush for pastels. Oh, bye buddy. And I have this one, which is a little softer. I tend to use it for cheeks and stuff. So I wanted to try and add some, so like over here, it's more blended in with some of the other pigments. Over here it's a little less. So I wanted to try and blend some pigment over it to see if I could get it to feel right. Um, to feel like it's full of hair. We'll see. So I have this light brown. And we're gonna, we're gonna go for it take a little here and we're going to dab it off so if there's little chunks and you rub them in they're going to create streaks almost like if you had just drawn with a chalk you want to dab it off and this may work or not work because we have the paint there and I didn't do a coat on but you want to just brush lightly because the idea is not to actually rub in the color. The idea is to let the tooth, the actual, um, and then I blew off whatever excess was there. The idea is to let the tooth, the texture of what the top layer is, which is why we spray that clear coat on, to grab as much as that pigment as we can. <laughs> you can see now that looks a lot more nice and filled in, kind of more uniform. Can do that same thing on this side. Gonna take some here, blot it out. Just kind of rub lightly, allowing the texture of the hair of the of the matte clear coat to grab onto the pigment. There's going to be a certain point where with chalk pastels you're saturated as far as how much that layer can grab because the all the little nodules will be fuel. If you think it's like an egg carton there's only so much of each of those little cups in that egg carton can hold. But once you uh, put another spray of clear coat on, it's like you are adding another egg carton on top of that and then you can put another layer of pigment on. So unlike uh, 
using an airbrush where you it, it has its own medium which sticks directly to the um, it has its own medium which sticks directly to a thing oh my gosh I actually have people watching me yes we are painting heads today eyebrows are definitely my enemy too sing blue buster hello she's a son hi sing blue bless silver um, yeah um, yeah, so if you think about a clear coat on top of a clear coat, it's kind of like you um, put as much as you can into the one egg crate carton. That becomes saturated. There's nothing more that egg crate can grab onto. And then once you do another clear coat over that with the matte clear coat, it's like you're creating more of those cavities. More of those cavities. Here we go. Here's the... Uh, cavity and then you can put more pigment on top of that so with a spray brush with an airbrush it has its own medium that just attaches with the paint because the paint is designed to attach so it's almost like you're putting its own like spray can on it with the um with the chalk pastel you are beholden kind of want some magic eraser for this actually with the chalk pastel, we'll see if it blends out when I put some pink there. There's like a yellow pigment here that ended up here. It's just very pervasive. It doesn't... Pervasive stuff, it has something like that that just doesn't want to go. Oh, maybe I can try this new thing. Let's see if that works. Try this off. Yeah, so with... um. Chalk pastels, I keep repeating myself because I feel like I don't finish my thought. <laughs> with chalk pastels, um, it ends up with layers and layers and layers of the clear coat, depending on how dense you need that color and that pigment. Um, so with that, there are some limitations, right? Um, number one, you're going to want to get chalk pastels that are higher pigmented per medium to pigment. That way you need less uh, layers to get that done. Um, so that is something that will help you out unless you're going for a very kind of transparent-y sort of look. Um, the other thing is the more layers you do on your um, clear coat, you're actually putting more and more between you and that first layer that you achieved. And while technically clear coats are clear, they do have, after a while, a pigment, just like, um, just like how over time, um, like you'll notice like a glass is actually kind of a little blue or something like that. It actually has a bit of a tone. The the um, the uh, uh, the finishing spray. There we go. Finishing spray UV cut and the Mister Super Clear actually do create a little bit of a change in color. And the more layers you put on top, the more of the change in that color is going to be as you get there. Hmm. My drink of choice today is a Negroni. Negronis pair well with face-ups, I promise. Let's see, I think I'm about at the saturation point for pigment and these eyebrows. Nice thing is it kind of putting the um, putting the chalk pastel over which I'm doing on these eyebrows and I'm doing on the lips where the lip lines are um, actually kind of makes the lines less pronounced which kind of gives it a softer watercolor like look which I do like so here's something that I saw a face-up artist doing so this is a kneaded eraser and I saw that you can knead it you can make it into any little shape and they were saying Oh yeah, that does work pretty nicely. That pigment is coming right off. And you can like 
turn it in a way and squish it in a way where you can kind of squish it to a point where you can get into spots where you couldn't normally. Oh, that's so much better. Yes, thank you. All right, kneaded eraser technical test has been good, which means I can also kind of get this going a little more pronounced. Trying to shape it towards more of a point because it's supposed to be like an accent of the eye fold so it doesn't disappear from afar. All right, doing all right here. <laughs> Enjoy, Shizu san. All right, next, lips. So we're going for a male. Um, should I do lips first? Actually, I'm gonna do the eyes first. So, hmm, no, lip first. So we're gonna be going for, uh, oh good, you use it too, great. Yeah, that worked really well. That was watercolor pencil that just did not wanna leave. And there was like yellow pigment. Everything else came off with water, but the yellow pigment was like, this is where I live now. And I'm like, no, no, please no, please no. Um, so yes, that worked, huzzah. Um, lips, so we have a light pink for the lines. And I have three different pinks here in with the bulk stuff. I have kind of this darker pink, a brighter pink. I think that's gonna be way too bright. And a neon pink, okay. I think we just answered our question <laughs> between these three pinks. I think I'm going with that first kind of peachy darker pink. I don't know how accurate the color is on here, but that's what we're gonna do. All right. So the trick on this one is there's actually an open lip here and it has white teeth that I painted in the last episode. So I'm gonna be trying to get it in there but not have it rest or reside on that white paint. Um, so for that reason, I'm gonna be going with my less, my more, my more pointy brush again. So take it on and I'm definitely gonna be careful to kind of blot it a little so I can get remove the extra bitty bits that are clinging. I'm gonna let gravity be my guide here because I want gravity to have all this color. Oh my god, my hand is shaking. What the heck? Gravity be my guide and let the color and extra bits that want to come here fade away and come downwards away from that white color. You can see there's a lot of little a lot of little specks that have happened right there. You just want to blow them away because if you try to rub them in, what's going to happen is that um, you're going to end up with those streaks like I mentioned before. Okay, I'm going to try one more time, see how much more pigment this will hold. But I think we might be at saturation for this layer here. There we go, we're getting some color. I'm gonna, since I know it's this color I want, it almost looks like I've sanded over here before with that color, huh? Pick up my color, blot it off so I don't have any bits. Once again, I'm gonna let gravity be my friend so that none of that pink falls into the white teeth. It's not clinging very well. I'm wondering if I got a good layer on this when I clear coated it. It might not have, ah, I didn't blot. It's not. I wanted to cheat and see how much if I could do. I didn't blot again. How much of this I could do with just one layer, but it's obvious. Um, 
There's just not quite enough tooth. I think that can might have been a little dead too, so. All right, so we have some color on the lips now. We're getting somewhere. Getting somewhere here. So, uh, nose, I usually gonna go, because of my own nose, like, it's a little red. Just kind of build up a little color here. I'll also act to accentuate the nose a little. See, I added a little streaky, now I gotta blend it out. There we go. Now, eyelids are a little bit more red, just subtly, because we're doing a guy. We don't want eye shadow. We just want some warmth there. I did it. I did the thing. I brushed it in. Okay, there we go. It came off. Problem with doing this over, as I mentioned, is I can get these dark lines looking less pronounced now, but I think I'll be okay. any background noise on. I think I might blend a little brown into this because maybe just the pink looks a little girlish. Just a little. I don't know. I might make it worse. Who knows? Now with my broader strokes brush, once again, I'm taking this pigment. I usually put a little on the chin. I don't know how much chins draw blood, but I usually just do a little bit. And then for a guy, you do blush cheeks, but like on, a, on an older woman, like, I was always told this, you want center of cheek for a younger girl, and kind of angle towards cheeks for an older girl. And I might just kind of, I might just do almost like older. And I look, know this looks a little stark right now, but I'm actually, I'm gonna blend it out and I'm gonna blend it with a little brown, so like, yeah, I have plenty of doll, blank doll heads to do. Maybe we can do them together. We can just like hang out on Discord and paint together. Does that sound good, Sing Blue Star Silver? SBS? How's this look? Do I like this? Oh, well, I'm getting somewhere. I use my hands sometimes too. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I think I got what I needed. All right. Sounds awesome. I was playing with making, I actually have one, but I haven't done anything with it, a Discord server for Nino Bingo. That brought a bit of depth to it, which I like. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna look like it's 
dirty. Let me try to just make sure it's nice and blended. Just kind of trying to do nice big strokes here. And then I usually, usually add some warmth to the ears here. ears draw a bit of blood so they get they get pinker so I think this is going to require at least one more layer at least because I want I want these lips to be a little bit more pigmented Kind of am liking the amount of pigment on the rest of this. I do want to let's see where is my dark pigments. So I'm going to take a little bit of the brown. First of all, I'm going to put it towards the inner ear here because that's where it kind of gets darker. So I'm going to use a darker shade there to symbolize that. And I was debating whether I wanted to do black or pink on the... There we go. There we go. That's some nice... You know what? I'm going to keep going with that. I'm going to just really focus in on getting different shapes here, a little accented on these ears. These ears are not nicely sculpted. I have to say I do enjoy them. Yeah, my sibling helped me put together the server, but I've done nothing with it. <laughs> it just exists. It only, it only exists. I might, I mean, there's enough shadow up the nose as it is. It might just be, if I do black, it might be too stark. Maybe I'll just do a little brown. Kind of just dot it in there. Blow out the excess just to add a little bit more pigment. <sighs> yeah, that darkens it up just a little bit. I know you're seeing a lot of the top of my head over here, but at least you're not seeing it on this camera now because I changed changed the camera. Get, we're going, getting something better here. I'm learning, learning how to stream. <sighs> ah, yes, that's working. How am I feeling? I'm actually kind of liking it. There's a little bit of yellow pigment on the top there that I know I'm going to regret if I don't get later. Where did I put my eraser? Okay, here it is. If it's later, it'll be sealed under a layer and then I won't be able to get it. Also, if you want a sharp edge, on, on any of your pigments for your for your chalk pastel you're just gonna use your kneaded eraser or eraser or like a q-tip with a point and you'll just take and kind of draw your line and pick up the pigment where you don't need it okay I'm thinking this is starting to look good I need one more clear coat layer, I think, to kind of get where I want to go, I think. Yeah. I'm wondering, so I put on the the wet eyeliner, the, the, the pink on underneath, but I'm not sure how that's going to look. I guess I won't really know until I get eyes in there. So if you pardon me, I'm going to go put another clear coat on. I'm going to leave my nice fancy electronic watch here put this on waiting room. I guess I'll put on some music. I can do this. All right. Be right back. Uh, let's see. I'll find some nice waiting room music for you guys. Uh, 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 uh. 
No copyright synthwave music. Sounds good to me.
Hey, I am back. So I exited my house. There was like snow dripping from the top of the roof. And of course everything here wasn't sealed yet. And I'm like, don't you do it. Don't you drip. No, 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 no. So we're all good. Nothing dripped on him. So we are still looking good here. So here's our boy now sealed. Colors and pigments can be pushed around with your spray paint. So before and after it's sealed, it might look a little different. Don't panic, just adjust. Not everything has to be perfect, perfect, perfect. I mean, I guess maybe if you're like being commissioned or something, you might have to worry about that, but I don't. This is for me, for my enjoyment, and um, the eyebrows aren't perfectly even. That's fine. Humans are humans. <laughs> it's whatever. Um, it's also my first face up in over a year, so I think I'm doing fine. But yeah, I do think he definitely needs more pigment on his lips in particular. Um, and um, BS. Oh, where, where's my chat that I was looking for? Uh, here we go. BS, SBS uh, met, mentioned um, a little pink underneath the eyes. I think. I'm, I'm mixed on it because I don't want it to look like, I guess I can just put some there and see. I did put like a little, little there, but I didn't want his eyes to look like they were poofy. And the, uh, I actually have a photo that I found that I linked in the chat that I guess I might as well put over here for posterity. Let me see if I can get here. From Jane's Doll Land. Let me see. Doop doop. Writing room, game, web browser. Uh, picture viewer, window capture, Chrome window capture, properties. There we go. Here we go. So there's two heads here. They are both delightful. Um, I think they're both the same guy I'm painting now. They went for darker lip lines. This looks really good on that sort of tan. Um, but I was trying to go for a little less detailed, more anime look. They added this here, which kind of accentuates it more in an Asian styling face, but also I wanted it to look like Loud, and I feel like, oh my god, tiniest photo ever, please, can we get something better than that? Um, <laughs> oh, it's a video, come on, can I just get an image in the house? Thing Shirley just hates me today. This is this looks big too. It says 840 by 440, but I just feel like there's not as much accentuation down there. Like here is shaded to make his brow look more severe. But I don't think there is as much there because it's a little it's a little stylized. There's a little actually underneath. Her shadow. Did the guys do that too? On that doll? They did. So I might do that. I'm not sure. We shall see. But here we are. First of all, let's see how much more pigment we can put on. Now that I have another layer of my egg cups on there, once again, we'll let gravity help us not get this paint into the wrong spot. Because I want that white to remain white. I don't know if I want any more brown here. It's cat hair attached to my hair. I don't know if I want any more brown because I kind of like how light it is there. This is 
okay. I don't know. I need more practice. I need to watch a few more guides, but I'm just kind of winging it for today. Oh, spray paint um, tutorial. Um, always outside or in a well-ventilated room. You sh if you're in a room, please wear some sort of N95 respirator or the like so you're not inhaling it because that stuff does not leave your lungs. Also, if you're sanding resin, that stuff does not leave your lungs. Once outside, you need it to be above freezing. Um, my first layer on here was not that good because it was only a little above freezing and I hadn't shaken the can in a while and it kind of mostly got liquid. Same can, I swear, I just used and it's like got a little bit more life to it now. Um, so yeah, um, with that you'll do just fine. You want to kind of have it about a hand's, a hand's length or so away from your doll um, and you want to pass. You don't want to like sit there and spray. You kind of want to move it past each other at an even rate because that means your doll will be evenly coated. I do, let me go to center for this as I get distracted from my thing. Okay, so here be doll, here be me. Man, I hate this camera. Um, you're gonna want to have it pointed away from you to spray and then you're gonna swap and bring it this way because areas that are like hard to get through from one angle with like eye wells, lips, nose, and things, you're gonna be able to clear coat and get from the other angle. So it's gonna help you out. All right, anyway, where was I? Applying pink to lips. Yeah, those lips are warming up now. And then there's always this thing with, their, with clear coat. Sometimes people clear coat lips, sometimes they don't. His lips are so big, I feel if I added a clear coat, it would like feel overwhelming and very feminine. So I am not gonna do that. I am liking these lips. I am happy with these lips. Even the one thing that I Oh no, I forgot my rule. It came, it came out. <laughs> gravity, gravity, use gravity. Use the boost to chase. And once again, that is about as much pigment as it seems that it wants to pick up this round. That's okay, because I think that's about as warm as I want that. Maybe add a little bit more warmth up here. It's hard because I'm trying to dodge the black lines because I don't want to go... Usually I would do my acrylics last, but I don't know. I kind of felt, felt it right this way. I'm going to... I'm gonna put a little brown just for accentuation. Do I have a little brown left? Maybe a little brown mixed with a little pink. Kind of mix it. I just wanna like get a little here to kind of accentuate that chin. I don't know like if I like how warm I made this chin. Maybe, yeah, I'll just add that little bit of brown to it. Maybe add a little bit of shading to, there we go, that looks good. And just, just maybe a little here. Yeah, there we go. It's just all it needed was just a little, little underneath the eye. Not a lot, just a little. And I felt like I put a little too much pigment on, so I used my finger to kind of brush it off. All right. So I feel like We 
did that, I think, I think I'm gonna coat him one more time and then we'll come in for a few gloss spots and put eyes in him and see how he does. Yay! Uh, so this time I'm gonna be using the UV cut a little different texture and I kind of like it um, and yeah I'll be right back again Creating your first video? You should start with the music. Go to artless.io and get high quality music and sound effects for any type of video you want to create. For example, let's make it intense. Feeling sexy? Now, epic. Just maybe close the door before you start shooting. Get unlimited downloads, a license that fits all your creative needs, and perfect for every platform. Go to Artlist now and start creating without limits. Sorry about the commercial. Yeah. <laughs> hey there. Just painting. Don't worry. It's not like it's anything planned or anything fabulous or a world premiere just just chilling and painting chilling and painting um so i'm now to the point where i usually start to put gloss on and i do not i am i am crimes and i do not have water at my table though i guess i won't need it until i clean off my brushes because i have a separate for the gloss i have a separate um so this one is Kriya. This is my Tamiya acrylic paint mini 
clear X22, which I do like the gloss on that a lot. And here is my Tamiya X20A. I, I forgot it's upside down, so I can actually check. Quick look, turn their X20A Tamiya thinner, acrylic thinner. So we have the paint and we have the thinner. The thinner we need to clean off the brush because this is a little bit more. I don't know, it's a, it's, it says it's acrylic, but it doesn't come off quite as easily. Now, I did get uh, these guys recently, and I've been playing with them. So I have a matte varnish and a gloss varnish that is these, I keep forgetting, <laughs> the and uh, colors. And I did kind of like the matte, but I'd like, I'd almost like to play around on a head cap or something and see how it really compares to everything when it's right next to each other. Um, so I could kind of do like a little style guide. Um, but hello, Anna. Excitement. Okay, so I'm done with sanding. In fact, I'm gonna put this aside so I don't accidentally get more pigment where I don't want it. Here is his head so far. And I think it's just around good gnut for me to start adding the finishing touches. So I'll probably add very carefully some gloss to the teeth, and then for him, just his inner eyelash, inner eye well area. I'm noticing my chat. Can I move this up? No. Yes. No. It's missing just the bottom. Aha! I've done it. Okay. So, I need a nice, tiny brush or a brush I can trust. So I think I will use this and I will use this. And then I'm going to use my trays here. So this is a very tiny brush and usually I don't use the brushes so tiny to be honest. Yesterday I used one tinier than I'm used to, um, but I think this is what I'm going to need to do to kind of just flow ever so small amounts by dabbing it in on the tip of the brush to the teeth. This one I'm going to use, and I'm going to use the side of the brush to get the eye well looking wet. I'm going to use that around and up here. And that's how I'm going to use these two brushes. So, shake it up a little. It doesn't really need to be shaken because there's no pigment, but but yeah, this is again, this is what I use for my final layer. It's the uh, finishing powder spray UV cut from Volks. This is going to be the hardest part. Actually, so you can see, I'm just, for this one, because I want to control how much I get on this brush very much, I'm going to just dab the top of the cap. All right. Let's see how steady my hand is. Sorry if you can't see this. I got to just really like. I did it and there's only like a little bit of overflow and honestly that's fine because like the inner part of your lips a little wet anyway but yeah I got it just managed to get it in there now this acrylic thinner oh my god of course it's stuck why wouldn't it be stuck right now aha this is what I use to clean my brush Where's my paper I'm going to put just a little bit in here so I don't swish it around with anything else. Just really try to clear that out. Meh, I'll just, I'll get more eventually. 
try to do this where it's just a little bit. It's not really a good pouring bottle. Okay. Swishy, 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 swishy. You can see it's taking the other paint off. I forgot I used to keep one of these because that's almost like acetone. I used to keep one of these for the clear and everything else for the pigment. But that's looking pretty good. Looks like I've used this on black before at some point, and then I'll rinse it out with water as well. I'm gonna close this guy up. Nice and tight. What I do that it's, I must have poured down the side of it because it came all out. Great. Great, perfect, and peachy. Okay, now you. Him, I'm just gonna put this right into here because I wanna have it soak and use that capillary action with the brush. We use bought just a little bit on the inside. And then I'm gonna use the side of the brush to put the clear coat onto there. I'm realizing this clear coat does take a little longer to dry, obviously, than an average acrylic, but we shall see. I would love to show you all the final look here. All right, so there's that. Let's rinse this up here. I'm gonna go fully rinse my brush now in some water so I can keep it being a good boy brush on a bad boy brush. Pipettes, yeah, you know, I have them somewhere. I know I have some at work. Be right back. My brushes have been rinsed. Now, wipe this guy out. It's just the solvent in there. And I'll take a few more sips. Mmm. This is glass I got from a, uh, I think it was either the Geekdom Con or from Too Many Games, but that's the uh, Shinra logo right there, which is, I feel, feel like a nice good uh, Shinra exec, maybe. <laughs> Drinking a Negroni. Negronis while painting doll heads. It's like the ideal, the ideal day. I mean, any day where you get to finish a project, or at least, you know. I'm not 100% happy with him. Like, his eyelashes are not too even on either side, but I would just want to see how it feels with him all together. How? Oh, yeah. I think I can put some eyes in that. Let's, uh, let's do that. So here's the eyes that I had that fit. They exist. <laughs> it's it's what I have. You can see his eye wells are very specific and a little hard to work with, to be honest. So I got the one eye in. I could do a full video about putting in eyes later. We we'll definitely need that from my angle looking down. The colors on him look more drastic, like warmer 
in person, then I think the video is conveying the video looks a little cool. Um, I think I should have more sticky tack than that. Well, here's some random sticky tack over here, complete with cat hair because that's how I live my life, as always. Um, I'll just, once again, there's the head. Here's my eye. I'm gonna swap it around, push that eye forward into the eye well, and just kind of try and squish that sticky tack into a spot that's gonna adhere for this eye. And then I have this trick I use. So the trick I use to make sure the eyes are aligned. So I have one eye looking at me, and then I cover one eye and I see if the doll's still looking at me. So I try to get them both to look at me. And if both are looking at me, then the eyes are even. And I do it by covering one eye at a time and just making sure the focal point is the same by making the focal point my face. All right, I feel like that looks pretty good here. I almost feel like I could use more light, but I'm afraid I'll just wash everything out. If I knew, if I knew how to control this. All right, so here we go. Here's their, oh, I keep forgetting. It's actually normal. Lovely and cute logo. Ooh, SBS has two cats. I have three boys, three kitty boys. So this cap, you can see this doesn't have a lot of a roundness, it just has a little. So it kind of snaps right in place here. It's a little tension. Bonk. Just like so. Nobody home. And we'll just give him a wig for a moment. So he has something here to work with. And there you go. Oops, I keep doing this. I keep doing this. Here is our Becca style face up. I don't like the chin warmth. I feel like I overdid that. It should have been more subtle. But other than that, he's looking pretty good. Um, eyebrows, meh, not feeling it, but there we go. Um, I can, of course, I can go like this and then hold him upside down <laughs> for the moment to get a better angle, lighting. Yeah. Hard because it's a single focal point at the moment. Let's see how it looks like with my very blasted out center. Oh my god, you can't see anything right now with a stupid light. But uh, I'll probably take a photo of him eventually for the shot. But that's about it for today. I just wanted to paint and streaming. Streaming makes me finish projects. I think next up, as I knock something onto the floor, will be this lovely kit um, that goes along with the blind box girl here. So please look forward to that. Um, I hope you all have a lovely, wonderful Sunday. If you have off, bless you for uh, President's Day here in the States. Please enjoy that. Um, and uh, keep on, no, wait, keep on collecting dolls, but keep a budget. <laughs>